Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you another FIFA 15 ratings predictions. Now this is going to be an episode that has Ribery, Robin and Royce in it. So yeah, let's just get straight into this. So, first of all we have Frank Ribery. Now, obviously he did get in Team of the Year and that was much deserved but that was because of the early part of this season and the late part of last season. So yeah. Uh, he's been struggling with injuries, obviously he hasn't went to uh, the French World Cup and yeah he wasn't part of that because of his injury and yeah he scored more goals last season than he did previously, 5 more I believe, I think he scored 16 this season and he assisted 8 less, however uh, he assisted 23 the previous season and only 15 this season. So. Because of that, and because of his overall drop, kind of, in total goals and assists, like, originally it was 34, now it's 31, I've given him a downgrade to 89. Uh, I don't think this guy had as good a season as last season, which is why I'm bringing him down a bit. Now, I've uh, downed his pace and dribbling by one. Uh, his pace, to be honest, probably could stay at 91. He's, he is very, very rapid. But his dribbling certainly isn't 93 in my opinion. Uh, I give it a decrease because this season he hasn't been doing as many skills or little fancy flicks or tricks or whatever. And that's kind of included within dribbling. Now his shooting I've kept the same. To be honest this is incredibly low for what his shooting should be. But I don't think it warrants an increase because it wasn't better than last season. But EA just fucked up on this part, so I've just kept that the same at 78. And his passing have decreased by 2 because of how many, I think it's 8 assists that he had less, is what I said. Yeah, and the defence heading I've kept the same because no one really cares. The next player is Ian Robin. Now, what a fantastic season he's had. He's been absolutely incredible for Bayern Munich. Robin and Ribery always seem to switch seasons. One of them performs, whereas the other one performs less than what they did the previous year so one of them is always better than the other they're never equal it's ridiculous and yet yeah, for that reason and because he's got eight more goals i think uh, i think he got 13 in the previous season and this season he got 21 and he also got four more assists for that reason he deserves a massive upgrade he's been fantastic in the world cup for Netherlands as well, another contributing factor. Now I've increased his pace and dribbling by one. He is rapid. He he should have even faster pace than that, to be honest. But yeah, the guy is what 30, and he's still bombing down the wing at that pace with his little fancy cut insides. I suppose you would say the way he cuts inside, only he does it really onto his left foot and brings it round with a finesse. It's utterly fantastic to watch. I've given him a four increase in shooting. He scored eight more goals than he did last season. He's been clinical and 89 shooting is well warranted in my opinion. And I've increased his passing by four. Even though he only did get four more assists, his passing has greatly improved, especially with Bayern Munich's style of play now. Because they play a little bit more tiki-taka, uh, because of their manager obviously. So he's been forced to pass a lot more and the fluidity of Bayern's passing has been exceptional to watch this season he's increased his passing uh, a lot in my opinion the next player is Marco Royce now again this guy has been exceptional for Borussia Dortmund he was unfortunate to get injured before Germany's World Cup campaign really really unlucky this is a player I was hoping would do exceptional in the World Cup and he probably would have but you know he was injured unfortunately and what a season he had. He scored 23 goals and 18 assists in all competitions for Borussia Dortmund. That is ridiculous. Considering he plays on the left, that's a record that only Ronaldo beat, I think, uh, in terms of left wings in the world. I could be wrong with that. But yeah, for that reason, I've increased his pace by one. He is rapid. And yeah, he's fairly young, 24, so he hasn't reached his optimum pace yet, so I think it does warrant an increase. He's dribbling by three, because this guy, the way he cuts inside, and just the way he takes on opponents is absolutely fantastic to watch. I forgot who he was against, but I saw a dribbling run uh, for Borussia Dortmund in Bundesliga, and oh my god, the amount of players he beat there, and the quickness of which he did it was absolutely fantastic. I've increased his shooting by two, 
This guy has been clinical and he's been progressing throughout the years, getting better and better. Obviously, he was originally a striker. He's now played more on the left for Dortmund and have increased his passing by four. Because although he scores, he assists as well. He's a team player. He's utterly fantastic. One of my favourite footballers. And yeah, I've given him an 87 overall. Potentially 88, if I'm honest, he could rise to. But you know, I'm being realistic. The two increase is definitely Warren and if he continues this form he definitely will be one of the world's best when he is probably around 27 28 when Ronaldo and Messi start to you know retire or die away slightly so yeah hopefully you have enjoyed let me know which three players you do want to do next I'm only going to do three because it allows me to talk about them more in depth so yeah let me know any three that I haven't already done and yeah hope you have enjoyed and peace Get it up to the attack, it is just fantastic.